I grew up in a small lobstering island that is a working fishery, and I was around fisheries for most of my childhood. So I spent my childhood playing in tide pools, swimming in the really cold water, but also seeing this really vibrant and important fishery. And so that got me really interested in studying fisheries and studying marine biology. I came here to Santa Cruz to do my PhD in ecology and evolutionary biology. And now I work on uh, mobulid rays and I work on bycatch mostly in tuna fisheries and trying to both study them but also think about developing effective conservation solutions. It's really exciting to work with manta rays. They are fascinating animals. They're huge. They can weigh up to the weight of a Honda Civic. They can reach the, the width, wingtip to wingtip, that a giraffe is tall. Amazing animals, and as large as they are, they are just as vulnerable. So we know that anywhere where tuna and tuna fishing might be happening, you are also likely to find mobula rays. And this is really important because it means that there is a risk of fisheries impacts, particularly bycatch of mobula rays. I first learned about ISSF when I was starting to look at the tuna RFMOs and try to learn a little more about the industry and the fisheries management and how it all worked. Some of the people who I really admire, some of the scientists whose careers I followed and whose research I cite all the time uh, work for ISSF or in, are in some way um, involved with them. So it's always been an organization that I've really admired and wanted to work with. On our 10th anniversary, ISSF is launching the Seafood Sustainability Contest for graduate and postdoctoral students in marine science. I entered the contest and I, I really thought it was a long shot. I thought, well, that would be amazing, but maybe it's not so likely. The proposal I submitted is a project to develop, implement, and test conservation solutions on board tuna vessels to reduce um, mobulid ray bycatch in tuna fisheries. What I'm proposing is to work with skippers, fisheries observers, and even the crew on board and split them into small groups to have them develop themselves solutions, whether that be onboard handling methods, uh, gear changes, or even pre-capture methodologies to actually avoid bycatch in the first place, and then vote on the one that they think is best. And that will include some financial incentives um, to try to get them excited about the process. And then once we decide on two of these innovations, we're calling them bycatch innovations that are best, we're going to actually implement those in a few vessels across the fishery and then use tagging methods to test whether they're working or not for reducing bycatch mortality. So it's kind of this holistic um, way of collaborating with the fisheries, with the fishers, with the fisheries managers, and the crew on board. Having organizations like ISSF help support this work is invaluable. Not only is this work really logistically difficult, but it's also really expensive. And having the support of ISSF is just as important as having their knowledge. That's really valuable for us. So having uh, somebody like ISSF on your team is a huge benefit. Professionally winning this contest is an enormous opportunity. You know, I really want a career working in fishery sustainability and seafood sustainability, and specifically on bycatch. And I think this sort of opportunity is something that is a gateway to a million more. Personally, winning this contest is such an incredible way to have impact. I can, you know, help develop some solution and then work with the fishery to actually scale it across their vessels. To me, if that were to happen, it would be, you know, just such a win for conservation for these really incredible species. I think that my younger self would be totally awestruck and kind of dumbfounded to see where I am now. The work that I do now is exactly the type of thing that I dreamed of when I was a kid, and I'm super lucky to be doing that.